Hi guys, I'm Vishwaraj Gupta. I'm a data engineer. This is the second part of index match video I had created last week. So guys, in the previous video, if you remember, I did a small demo. What is the difference between VLOOKUP and index match? So just to tell you again a little bit that VLOOKUP, it looks the right hand side columns. If you're looking for total business for this company, yes, you can do it. But what about company number for Vishu India company? No? So in index match, you can find the values which are located on the right hand, left hand side of the table as well. So that, that is the big, big advantage. Plus, today I'm going to show you how index match has that capability that which you can achieve by having two VLOOKUPs inside index match. So for example, here you can see there are a lot of cities and there are a lot of duplications as well. So as you can see, New Delhi is here, New Delhi, Tiki Chart Publishing is in New Delhi, Golgappe Publishing is in New Delhi, but there are some other companies which are in New York as well. So just imagine it's a huge data, millions of rows, millions of columns, sorry, hundreds of columns, and you want to find out the total amount for this one. So let's do it. So for example, here it is New York. Let me increase the font size for the better visibility. Okay, here we are, New York. So for example, if I want to we look up, let me just increase the size of this column as well. So we look up, I'm looking, look up value is New York and I'm looking for the total amount. You can take it as a, uh, you know, profit or business, whatever was made in New York. So let's select the table array. So since our lookup value is New York, which is located in city, so you'll have to start from, your selection should start from the city part, and then let's drag it towards the uh, input amount, the input value which you are looking for. So C and D, as you can see, so C, let's take it C as the first column, and D as the second column. So now I'll put two here, since I'm, going to achieve second column information. So I'm looking for total amount for New York City. If I had put one here, then it would have given me New York the same answer. But I'm looking for total amount for New York, comma, zero. So zero is exact match. I'm going to close the bracket. And let's see, it gives me one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. So guys, after using VLOOKUP, it has given me this the first amount, but what about second amount? What about this third amount? It didn't give me that amount, which is located or maybe, you know, it didn't sum it. So I guess it, it could be wrong, you know. So you, for example, you are looking for maybe this New York, which is, which has company like Rouge at or music. So for example, let's do it with index match this thing. New York plus I'm looking for dummy music publishing data. So how do you use two VLOOKUPs in index match? So let's do it. Let me increase the size a little bit. All right. So I'm going to use index match here. So index match. So let's do it. So index. So what is my array in index means what you are looking for. I'm looking for total amount. I'm looking for the profit. So here you're going to mention the match. What are you, what is your first match? So since you're going to have two VLOOKUPs inside this match, I'm going to mention here one. And then I'm going to mention here comma. Why have I mentioned one? Because I want to create all those two look up, two VLOOKUPs, New York and Dummy Music Publishing as one entity. So I've mentioned here one. 
so now what is my lookup array so my lookup array is not just here the column detail it has to include the new york i'm looking for new york is equal to where is the table array so table array where is new york it is here in this column so i have selected f9 is equal to cc which means c column so my f9 uh, so i'm looking for new york which is in cc location i'm going to close the bracket so this is our one v lookup now if i want to add another v lookup i'll have to use star which means multiplication i'm going to use now another v lookup in the same index match now i'm looking for new york city and plus dummy music publishing so i'm going to select my second vlookup and where is it located is equal to it is located in here so i've selected aa column i'm going to close the bracket and you can go on with more vlookups inside you just have to mention again multiplication sign and then you can mention you know other criteria if you have a lot of columns and rows it depends so here i'm just uh keeping two v lookups inside index match so as you can see i'm looking for total amount but my criteria are two city and company so i've mentioned it here so it has taken two criteria now i'm going to mention comma so what am i looking for i'm looking for the exact match that is zero i'm going to close the bracket so this bracket is for match and i'm going to put another bracket so that bracket is for the index now i'm just going to enter and let's see 3322114444 dummy music publishing which is in new york total amount was 3322114 so guys as you can see i have mentioned two v lookups inside index match so this is the beauty of index match so thank you guys hope you like the video thank you